Hi friends, it's Carmen and I'm back with another video. Today I am going to show you how to do a mock-up of your party. The purpose of a mock-up is to kind of see what looks together, what looks good together and how certain, you know, themes come together. So let's jump right into it. First, you're going to need Canva Pro and you're going to basically just need pictures of everything you're using. So I'm just right here. I'm just kind of making a title, just um, kind of showing you guys what type of mock-up it is. As you can see, it is a Squishmallow mock-up. And these pictures of the Squishmallows are something that I had on me. So I took pictures of them and I removed the background. Like I said, you're going to need Canva Pro to remove backgrounds. And you're going to need that for your mock-ups. I believe it's like maybe $7.99 a month for Canva Pro. But it is well worth it. You should definitely get it in this business. So let's just keep rolling. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. So some stuff I kind of already had pictures of. So I'm basically right here. I'm just looking for a picture of a tent. If you don't have a picture of a tent, all I do is just take this stuff from Amazon and I'll show that process. But right now I'm just kind of scrolling and looking for my own. All right, now that I have my tent, I am just going to remove the background. All you have to do to do that is if you have Canva Pro is click effects and then BG remover and it will remove the background for you. So now I'm just kind of moving my stuff in place and kind of just putting on the screen what I want. And with Canva, you can position your items. So that's what I'm doing right here. I click the position and I move the stuffed animals forward because I want my tent in the background. So the next step that I'm doing is basically going on Amazon. I'll also go on Google. You'll see me do that later. And I will search for all the items that I am going to use or that I want to use in this mock-up to see if it all goes well together. So I'll find what I want. I'll screenshot it so it'll be in my photo so I can then put it on Canva and remove the background. So basically what I'm doing here is just adding another pillow that I had. I have another pink pillow that I feel like kind of matches. So I'm, I'm just pulling that out of some photos that I already had. All right, now let's just go to Google and just get everything we need so we don't have to keep running off of Canva and back onto the internet. So I'm gonna just look up basically everything I want. I have these items already, so I know that they can be used. So I'm just going to get my lantern, my tray, and I'm also going to get some balloons. Now, I do balloons in the mock-up just to give a visual of how the Guest of Honor's tent will look. So I will, you will see me going on the internet and searching for round balloons in the color that I want. And you want to make sure you get photos of round balloons.
I think at this point you probably get the gist of what we're doing. So I'm basically just gonna add all of the items that I got from the internet, put them on my page, remove the backgrounds, resize them, and put them where I want to put them. All right, and for the last part, basically, I'm just gonna do the balloons. So, <clears throat> I'm going to basically make my balloons a little smaller so that they would replicate, let's just say like 11 inch balloons. I'll also be making five inch balloons, so you'll see me duplicating the balloons and basically making them smaller. Those represent my five inch balloons. So, I'm going to just basically place the balloons on the tent like I would in real life, kind of cascading down and you will just see me doing that. I like to do color blocks with my balloons, my real balloons. So that is what I'm gonna do. And you will see me do that here. And all you gotta do is just place the balloons going down the tent, duplicate them so you can get another balloon, um, et cetera, et cetera. So just have fun with it. You can play with it. You can use it for personal reference, these mock-ups. You can use it and even post it on your story and say, hey, guess what? This is what we have coming next. You know, it's your own just creative vision. I just kind of threw something together here. It's not really what I did for the Squishmallow party that I did, but I mean, it's pretty close. So yeah, I hope this helps. And I hope it prevents you from having to set it all up especially for new things. Once you've been doing it a while and you're getting kind of busy, I mean, who wants to set up mock-up parties like in real life and break it all down and take pictures and all that? So this will just basically just give you a visual of everything and how it'll look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.